Welcome children. Welcome to my English language class today. The lesson for today is subject verb agreement. Subject verb agreement. In a sentence, the verb must always agree with its subject. It is called subject verb agreement. You might have questions as to what that is. The subject is who or what the sentence is about. In the sentence, one dog is sitting on the grass. The sentence is talking about the dog. The verb is the action the subject is doing. So, the dog is sitting on the grass. Sitting is the action the subject is doing. Let us take a look at the golden rule. If there is a singular subject, it means the verb ends with an S. If the subject is singular, then the verb is singular, which means we add S to the verb. For example, Alex plays soccer after school. Remember, singular means one. After school. The second rule is when the subject is plural, then the verb is plural as well. We do not add a s to the verb. For example, she eats egg, eggs for breakfast. See, she is singular, so we add s to eats. The boats sail across the sea. The boats is plural so we do not add s in sales if there is a plural subject then the verb does not end with an s rule number three when the subject of the sentence consists of two or more nouns or pronouns joined by an we use a plural verb for the example the principal and the teachers are in the staff room are is the word used for plural because we are talking about the principal and the teachers which are more than two people. Rule number four when two or more singular nouns or pronouns are joined by or we use a singular verb. The man or his son is at home. The guide or the tourist goes first. Out here we are talking about the man, his son, which means two singular people, which is used by the word is. In the second example, the guide or the tourist goes first, which means we are talking about two individual people, by which we use the word goes. Rule number five. When two or more nouns or pronouns are joined by OR, the verb will agree to the subject closer to the verb. The example, the man or his sons are at home. Out here, sons are two or more pronouns, which is closer to the verb, which will be used as the word are. The tourist or the guide goes first. How dear? Tourist is further away from the word goes, which is a verb. So we will use the guide. The guide will be the subject closer to goes. Rule number six. Words like either, neither, everyone, everybody, someone, somebody, Anyone, anybody, take a singular verb. For example, everyone likes Kishore. Likes is a singular verb. Either is correct. Somebody is knocking at the door. Everyone is here. The words like is is used as a singular verb. The plural forms of some common verbs are fly, Right, 
go sleep pain speak rise walk bark and blow singular forms of some common verbs are flies rides goes sleeps pain speaks rise walks barks and blows with this children we come to the end of the lesson i hope to see you in the next lesson thank you